Members of the Bird Polar Research Center's Ice Core Paleoclimatology Research Group went to Antarctica in December of 2009 to investigate recent and abrupt environmental changes observed in Antarctica's Larsen Ice Shelf System. They are partners in an international and interdisciplinary project funded by the National Science Foundation, NSF, as an International Polar Year Award. The Antarctic summer offers daylight around the clock and it's vital to get as much done as possible while the weather cooperates. The team is comprised of scientists and technicians. Each has a primary role while also providing support to everyone else on the team. Dr. Viktor Sagarodnov, who helped design and test the ice core drills at the Bird Polar Research Center over the last 15 years, operates the drill. He has participated on 10 ice coring expeditions with the Ice Core Paleoclimatology Research Group. He monitors the depth of the drill head as it cuts through the ice, slowing it down as it approaches the ice at the bottom of the hole. Vladimir assists by carefully placing the end of the drill into the hole. The entire team is conscious of the fact that any needed repairs will cost them precious work time at the site. Each core that's brought up is placed on a tray in the drill tent and examined carefully for observable characteristics. Dr. Ellen Mosley Thompson, principal investigator on this project, records field notes to describe any visible features in the ice. Roberto helps by measuring the length of the core and putting it in a plastic sleeve. Each sleeve and canister is carefully numbered, also indicating which end was up. The cores must remain frozen at all times, including the long trip back to Ohio State's Bird Polar Research Center. They are stored in a snow pit or trench excavated at the drilling site. When they are prepared for shipment, six cores are loaded into each insulated box. The cores are flown back to large freezer units at Rothra Station in groups of about 15 boxes. A total of 451 core sections, representing hundreds to several thousand years of climate history, were retrieved from the Bruce Plateau during the 2009 to 2010 Larissa expedition. To study the history recorded in the ice layers, the cores are brought into the cutting room, which is maintained at about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. The cores are cut in half lengthwise. One half of the core is packed back into the tube as an archive for the future. The outer parts of the core are removed to obtain a sample from the innermost part of the core, which has not been in contact with contaminants in the modern environment. Ice cores are perhaps the best recorder of past atmospheric conditions. Because the snow that fell long ago captured many details about the nature of the atmosphere. Details about the climate history of the Bruce Plateau and the Antarctic Peninsula region are being revealed through the physical and chemical analyses of the ice samples obtained for the Larissa project. The final reports of this expedition will be published and the results will help scientists around the world to better understand the broader climate history of West Antarctica. They will also help to put recent observations of abrupt changes in the area of the Antarctic Peninsula into perspective in terms of that history.